Everybody, let's talk about making your first song in GarageBand. Okay, so you can see I'm in GarageBand here. You can see because it's right up here, play, it says GarageBand, and I'm obviously here at Choose a Project. I'm just going to go with Empty Project right there, hit Choose, then another window pops up, boom. I'm just going to leave it just on microphone here, don't need anything else, and just hit Create. All right, so that makes this first little microphone track up here. I'm going to throw that away in just a moment. Okay, so let's just get right into it. First thing I turn off is this stinking metronome here. Otherwise, it just tick, 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 tick all the time. So I'm going to just tap on that so it's no longer purple. Um, I don't care about this countdown timer. That can just stay there. Uh, let me close the drawer here, hit this little thing here. So now I've got a little more room to work around with. Go over on this side, hit the little loops button. And now I've got all my loops I've got going on here. Okay, so, um, hmm, let's see, things have changed a little bit here. You can, you can pick your different instruments here. I can go right here to beats. Okay, so here, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a thing here where I'm going to try to make a song with just the first choice of each thing, okay? So I went to beats because you always want to start with a beat. Okay, so I'm going to go here, fourth dimension, that's the first one. Ooh, you just tap on it, starts to play. Now, granted, it's not going to be perfect because what you're listening here is that's, that's my microphone right there. So it's playing out of my speakers and then into the microphone for you to hear. So it's not going to be great quality. Just know that I'm hearing it really good quality coming out of my speakers. And if I had headphones on, it'd even sound great. You're not going to hear too great with just the whole out of my speakers and into this microphone right here. Okay. So I'm going to drag that over to here because I like how that sounds. And I'm going to put it right here. Notice I put it on its own track. Okay. And then this audio one, I can uh, two finger tap on that and I can delete that track. So now I've only got just my beat. So I can press the rewind to beginning, press play. Hmm, that's not bad. Okay, so that's, that's cool. That's got a beat there. Uh, so let's now do one more thing here. We're gonna do lots of things, but let's do the next one. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna change this to time. Let's go beats and time, okay? So now I know how many beats I've got and how much time I've got. And uh, I need a song with let's say 90 seconds at least. That's a minute, one, one and a half minutes at least maybe two minutes of a song. I forget what I said in the video. So let's say I said a two minute song, maybe two and a half minutes. So um, I'm gonna go out to the end of this thing and right here, you can barely see it. There's a little triangle and it's kind of hard to grab, but I can go and extend this out and I'm gonna just keep going, 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 going. I don't know. Let's go put the playhead out here. Ooh, two minutes and 34 seconds. So somewhere around here. So I extend that looks like about 80. 80 measures or 80 bars they call it here around 80 bars is about the time we need and remember it was just a little tiny triangle that was hidden back in here sometimes it's this triangle it's the playhead here nope that doesn't work sometimes it moves this whole window nope that's not it you got to go in there and just find them and then you can extend it there i oops i found them there and he can extend it if you actually did if you grab up here that makes a loop so if you did that just go turn off the loop button here uh, but anyhow, okay, so I've got, I've got my song now and around 77 bars is about how long it needs to be. So I come back here to the beginning and you notice I, on this, this little sample right here, this loop, I can either grab it low, which will stretch the sound of it. I don't want to do that. Or I grab it high. Do you see how the icon changes? And I can loop it. Ooh, do you see that? So I'm going to loop this all the way out to 77. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, 77. Okay, right there to 77. And then rewind to beginning. So now I got a beat that just plays forever. Plays for the entire song. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so now let's go get something else here. I'm going to just reset this. Let's go to instruments. Let's add, I don't know, some synths in here maybe. 70, let's hear. All right. I said I would use the first one, so let's give this a try. I'm going to drag this on, and I'm going to have it start two measures after the... So there's two empty measures, then my, my riff starts here. Okay, let's rewind the beginning. Listen to this. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty good together. Okay, so that's pretty good, except it's a little short. So I'm going to extend that out. So it is a whopping four measures, okay? So we've got four measures of that. Let's go back to the beginning, just listen to that again. Yeah. Okay, so now let's add some more things here. 
Okay, uh, maybe some guitar. Let's go. Let's go bass. Let's go bass guitar. 80s. Okay, let me see. I'm going to add this underneath this one and let's see if they sound good together. Okay, let me just put this here and press play. Oh, yeah, they do. Now, granted, you're not going to make this song. I'm just kind of being funny and silly with you because I'm just picking the first one. You, of course, have got to listen to. You got to go listen to some of these, right? Just. You just you just tap on them to listen to them, and tap again to stop. But you know you you got a lot that you can listen to. I'm just showing you some silly things here. So now I've got two things stacked up, and now let's do a little bit different because um, this is kind of like our first verse. So let me go get uh, a different one here. We're on. So now I'm going to change that to the second one of each one. I'm going to add that here, and then let's go back to what we 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 said. Um, synths right let me go back to synths i'm gonna get this one yeah we're gonna add that one in okay now start to look at how this is visually we got this two bars of a start and then we got our first verse and now we're getting into our chorus here so let's listen to this from the beginning okay nice little start yeah yeah that's sounding good Those sound great together. See, we're, we're layering um, these, these synths with these, um, whatever we call these ones here, these other ones here, the bass. The bass and the synths we're layering together, and they're sounding really good together. Now, I'm going to go ahead and repeat this one because songs repeat, right? So I'm going to just select these two again, right? I'm going to hit copy on my keyboard. I'm going to put my playhead right here. I'm going to hit paste. Okay, now look at what we did here. We copied it. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing here. So now we've got some repeating copy, and I'm going to paste. So now we've got some repeating song, parts of our song, so it's not just monotonous. It doesn't just sound the same all the time. It goes back and forth, so here we go. Oh man, I hope you're grooving out in your headphones right now. Yeah, that sounds good. And then back to our verse. Yeah, <laughs> that is sounding great. Okay, now let's break this one apart. I'm going to put the playhead right here. Okay, right here. And then I'm going to split this track right here. I'm going to say split at playhead. Okay, so now, look, at I've got two different tracks now. So now I could actually um, shorten this track here. I could just be like, let's shorten that. Oops. Oh, I kind of got kind of got rid of it. Let me undo that. Undo. Oops. Okay. Let me go. Let's do a little break for eight. So I'm going to count out. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to put the playhead here again, and I'm going to two finger. This is a two finger tap. Split at playhead. Okay. So now this one's all by itself. Do you see how I've split that long one into three chunks now? And now I'm just going to hit delete on my keyboard. Now it's gone. Okay. So let's go back into beats, and let's go hit that second one here. And now let's add a little bit of variety right here in the middle of our song. And let's just loop it out right to here. And now, so now when we get playing this, oops, I got a little gap here. Look at that, a little gap. Let's move him over. Let's finish that. Okay, so there was good. Sorry, there we go. Had a little gap. Ooh, that's going to be a cool little break in there. Let's go and add some synths in the middle of that. Let's get something really cool here, above and beyond. No, no, no. Ooh, afterburner fuzz, afterburner fuzz. Let's go put that in here and loop that to here. Okay, and then of course, when it comes back, we're gonna come back into this stuff here. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna put that over here, paste, because we come back into a verse, right? So. Sorry, let me get slide that over again. I keep putting that. Make sure everything lines up. Everything's got to be beautiful. Okay, now let's listen to this. Ooh, that's nice in the middle. Nice little break from the song. Yeah. And then back into it. 
Okay, we need to add some more in the middle. We're almost done. I'm, I'm going to let you go and do some stuff. Let's listen to it. Let me get down into the bees a little bit here. Okay, there. Let's see how that goes together. Let me drag that one in. This might not sound good. You know when it sounds good together and when it sounds bad. Let's just listen. Ooh, yeah. All right, so that kind of concludes. I've showed you a lot of different things. I've showed you how your song should look visually and how you should have repeating parts to your song. I've showed you how to, cl uh, to, to cut a track up here and we cut that piece out there. I've showed you how to loop it is different than stretching it, okay? I've also showed you how to select it and copy and paste it to other sections as well. So I think you're good. You're on your way to make some great music, okay? Have fun, and I can't wait to hear what you make.